Hello and welcome to Reliance Training on Getting Started with Reliance RBD, where we'll cover adding RBD data. In this tutorial, we'll cover adding an additional block to an existing RBD. We will assume that you have viewed our previous overview tutorial on getting started with Reliance RBD, which reviews some of the basics prior to viewing this video. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the RBD diagram for the chassis in our drone example analysis. If you are not viewing this RBD, simply click Chassis in the All RBDs pane. So let's add a new block after the battery that will model the GPS. First, I click to select the battery block. Then I click the drop down arrow on the Insert button in the toolbar. From here, we can add a single block, a redundant block, a sub diagram, or a branch after the block selected in the diagram. Since our GPS can be modeled as a single block, we'll select block from this drop down list. We can now see that block 1 has been inserted after the battery and has been selected for us. Reliance RBD includes the ability to auto wrap so you can effectively manage your RBD layout. With block 1 selected, we can click wrap in the toolbar. Reliance RBD automatically reconfigures the layout of our diagram with block 1 below the current blocks. If this is not the preferred configuration to undo this wrapping, we can simply click Unwrap with block 1 still selected to return to the previous configuration. Next, let's enter some properties for block 1 here in the Properties pane. We'll set the name to GPS and we'll enter a description. We can leave the default quantity as 1, as our drone only has 1 GPS. We see that redundancy type is disabled and set to none, as we have a quantity of 1 with just a single GPS unit. Note that when quantity is greater than 1, redundancy types of series, standby cold, standby hot, and parallel will be available. And if you select a non-series redundancy, Important fields including quantity required, switch probability, and switch delay will be available. The link function allows us to link this block to either another sub-diagram, a prediction subsystem or part, or a Weibull dataset. Let's set our link as prediction subsystem slash part. Note how the block changed from the default blue color to green to distinguish it as a linked block. We have a subsystem defined in Reliance Reliability Prediction that has a GPS subsystem with a calculated failure rate. Note that the failure distribution, failure rate type, and failure rate are all disabled as these values are populated from Reliance Reliability Prediction in this case. If we did not have applicable reliability prediction data for this block, we could just enter the appropriate failure characteristics for the block or link it to another subdiagram or even a Weibull dataset. And lastly, here in the Properties pane, for this demonstration, we will leave the repairable checkbox cleared to indicate that if this block fails, it cannot be repaired. And since it is not repairable, no repair distribution or associated parameters are required. Note that our online help guide for Reliance RBD contains more details on the available properties for any RBD block. At this time, we can see a red tag mark appear in the upper left corner of our GPS block. This indicates that we have unsaved changes. When we click Save, the outstanding changes are saved and the red tag mark disappears. Now we're ready to recalculate our RBD results with our new block included. We can either recalculate just the chassis by staying here on this diagram, or we can recalculate our entire drone example by clicking Quadcopter Drone in the All RBDs pane. Let's recalculate the results for the entire drone, so we'll click Quadcopter Drone in the All RBDs pane here. So with the Quadcopter Drone RBD selected, we click Calculate in the sidebar. The Calculate RBD dialog appears. We can leave our calculation options set as is and click Calculate to perform the calculation. 
Reliance RBD recalculates the requested results for the quadcopter drone, which now includes the newly added GPS block, and displays our calculation results for us. When we're done viewing these calculation results, we can optionally generate a report if preferred, and then click Close to return to our analysis. This concludes this Getting Started with Reliance RBD tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions or to obtain pricing and purchasing information.